you. I don't know how well the weather's gonna hold out, but we're gonna dive into this rear end today. What? We're gonna get that fluid changed. I don't know how long it's been in there. It looked dirty as hell. Um, and not only that, uh, what? Yes, I'm gonna tell him about that. I got a diff cover, an aftermarket diff cover I'm putting on. He won't show them now. And all right, Genji. So, as Genji was trying to say, we got an aftermarket diff cover. This is what I have to go in the rear end. Yes, it's not M's oil. I know. I've did a lot of research. M's oil was not available. Neither was Ford uh, Limited Slip. I've used this several times. Never had an issue with it. This says it already has additive in it that you don't need it. Several people online say they run this without an additive, and it's just fine. I use both. Now, you only want to use about four ounces of this. This is a seven-ounce thing. Um, because this has fluid in there, you could actually split it up to like three and a half and three and a half. So you have some for uh, another service change. But 75, 140 synthetic is what I'm putting in there. So that fluid is filthy. But... I have 410 gears, so that's really flipping cool. I'm pretty excited about that. So, um, I would imagine there's not much left to the clutches. They, this will probably have to be rebuilt at some point. Um, not worrying about it now. I'm just getting the fluid changed, um, get some friction modifier in there, and see how much that'll um, just help with stuff. It's not being noisy or anything, but I don't want to take a trip. So it don't look bad there, but when it comes down and it's in there, and then if I just run my hand in here, look at all that. So, yeah, I'm going to get in there and get all that cleaned out the best I can and uh, get the new diff on it. You can see sand up in there. I'm going to get all that cleaned out the best I can and uh, get the new diff cover on. Alright guys, I'm not done. I obviously have to clean this out a little bit better with some uh, parts cleaner and I need to add the fluid, but I just got this set up there so the back's not off of it, but that's the diff cover. That's how it's going to look. It's got the preloads. Um, I'm using the gasket this time. I didn't on the SN, but I've known a lot of people that's ran these now and they had no issue with that gasket. It does have a drain, I mean a fill hole and a drain hole. So I'm super excited about that. It'll make things a lot easier in life. You do need to put, you adjust these all the way out and put some like blue Loctite on it or RTV, something that'll seal that because you can get some leakage past the threads. You still want to, this will allow like half a quart more, but most people still only put the recommended amount in there. So um, that's up to you. I ran half a quart more on my SN, never had an issue. So I'm super excited. I cannot wait to put good stuff in this and do the, uh, the friction modifier and see how it goes. Um, the one good thing is if I spin this wheel this way, that's really hard with one hand, this wheel spins the same way which means that the track lock is working. This is what happens when you use the gasket supplied with the rear end. So now I have to take all this apart and use RTV, saving what I can. Fun, fun. All right, well, I went back, put it with RTV, so I'm going to give it uh, 24 hours. I used the automatic transmission pan RTV, which is uh, very chemical resistant. Um, that is kind of caustic, people don't know, but uh, saved most of my fluid. I do have plenty there, and I still hadn't added my friction modifier, so I still have that. So, everything is good. Like I said, I'm going to give it about 24 hours to cure, and then come back and add fluid in, see if it leaks. Hopefully not. It was one corner that I had an issue with. Uh, if it still leaks, I'm going to take it off and we'll clean the stock wooden back up do some kind of paint job or something on it and send it i don't care anymore the next day all right it's been setting about 20 or 30 minutes and there are no leaks it is full of fluid and it is dry um what i did have happen even after the rtv it was leaking still 
right around this area. And then I noticed, I don't know if you can tell, this one isn't as deep in as this one. See how deep these are? Well, this one was the same way. It wasn't leaking here, though, because I used a ton of RTV. But what I did is I took that bolt out, and then I cut the tip of it off. And then I put it back in so I could tighten it down more. This goes into like a pocket, and the only thing I can assume is either there was something in that pocket or like just a defect where that could, that bolt couldn't run all the way down and this corner couldn't get tight. So after I did that and tightened it down, um, I didn't have any leaks. I added the rest of the fluid. And like I said, it's been probably 20, 25 minutes or so. And I come back out and nothing is leaking. Everything looks great. So I'm super uh, satisfied. So I'm gonna give this more time to dry and then I'm going to try to clean it up, but I don't want to spray anything with uh, RTV that is not 100% cured, just in case. Well, that was uh, interesting to say the least, but uh, I did do a giveaway on my channel for one of them. And the guy that uh, installed his just used his, the gasket and uh, didn't have any issues. When I used the gasket and had issues, I thought I'd just go to RTV. When I used RTV, I had issues. And it just turns out it was something to do with my rear in particular. It had nothing to do with the, the diff cover. So so the bolt was bottoming out and the bore. Um, so they are a little bit longer because the girdle or the diff cover um, is thicker on the aftermarket one. So my only uh, assumption is it just it went too deep in that area, which normally the, the stock screws wouldn't have been an issue because they're not that longer stock bolts. So anyway, I got that cut off, got it fixed. Everything is good. And now I know that this has good fluid in it, clean fluid and a friction modifier in it. So I can move on to the next thing, but um, wasn't super uh, entertaining, but it's progress. Uh, I feel like I say that every time. If you didn't enjoy, just lower your standards. You know, this is not a high standards channel. I do what I do. And I share my build with y'all, and it might help somebody. And somebody might have that diff cover, or might have issues. Maybe you might have the same issue. I don't know. But uh, anyway, another step closer. Mustangs of Daytona is 20 something days away, I think now. So we are getting there pretty fast. I'm uh, a little nervous, but we still got time. So this is Horseplay. Thank you for watching, and we out. Turn around, I done made it this far Look back now, that would be too smart I'll Shoot for the stars even when it gets hard Put my faith in the Lord with the 60 bars I won't turn around, I done made it this far Look back now, that would be too smart I'll Shoot for the stars even when it gets hard Put my faith in the Lord with the 60 bars I won't turn around, I won't